Hello. <clears throat> My name is John Bindernagel. I'm a, a wildlife biologist and I've been studying the, the Sasquatch or, or Bigfoot for <clears throat> over 50 years now. And I put together a presentation here um, with regard to some recent evidence uh, I've been able to acquire, I, it, which I feel is very important. It's a series of <clears throat> a detailed uh, documentation of a series of Sasquatch tracks, detailed in both photographs and casts. So let me just start right in here. <clears throat> the, uh, the story, so to speak, begins on a logging road here on Vancouver Island back in 1993, where some deer hunters were out and th they stopped at this location here to look down at a, a drying pond which appeared to have some some bear tracks across the bottom. This is the pond. <clears throat> no water left in it. <clears throat> uh, this is the series of tracks which are a little hard to see here. Um, by this point they had already put a tape measure down on one track <clears throat> and placed a rope showing the alignment of the tracks. <clears throat> um, in this photograph I, I've done a little manipulation just to indicate the softest part of the pond which had the deepest track and uh, a, 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 a zone around it also soft and then firmer soil uh, towards the edge of the pond. <clears throat> The, the, this, this becomes relevant in a little while. Here we've highlighted the tracks, <clears throat> which helps them stand out a bit, because by, by this time in the process there's a lot of uh, boot prints uh, round about. And here we have pulled out um, each of the tracks, the, the, the very deepest one in the softest part here, which is actually the fourth track. Uh, two very similar tracks, uh, one just before it, one just after it. <clears throat> quite quite well-defined tracks. And then a less well-defined track on the firmer soil right here at the beginning of the, uh, of the trackway. So let's uh, let's work on these individually just just to see what we have here. This is this is this is pretty good stuff. Okay, so here's the first uh, track. Well, not the first track. This is the deepest track, which 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 has been photographed there, and then photographed here <clears throat> with uh, with the tape measure. Um, now it looks really long, but we have a cast of that one. <clears throat> And uh, let me bring this closer because what we need to see, if I can get this correctly placed, is that the foot seemed to slide in and so there's a bit of a slide in zone into which pl plaster flowed at, at, at the heel and of course that, not of course, but at the toe there's some plaster beyond the leading uh, edge. But uh, let me just see if I can manipulate this a little bit uh, to just to give us a little better, a little better definition. <clears throat> quite, quite a good cast. Quite, quite deep. <clears throat> so we have that. We'll just leave that so. And then continuing. Oh, sorry, there's that, the same track uh, photographed one more time, very clearly, with, uh, with two tape measures. This track I find of great interest. This is, uh, this is the track actually just before it, a left foot. <clears throat> and uh, if we look at it a little more closely, well actually, there it is with uh, <clears throat> two tape measures. And uh, here's a, a blow up. Well. You see that, that crack across the ball of the foot. Here's the cast. This is pretty interesting. This, this footprint actually straddled a, uh, a crack in the mud. And then when the, how can we get, the, there we are. And then when the plaster was poured, <clears throat> the, the, some of the plaster actually flowed into the crack, which persists in the, in the track cast. Th this track shows something else. These, Deer Hunter's got some really good advice from another investigator, not, not, not from me, but from another investigator who, who said, now, if you've got a really shallow track, you need to build a dam around it with uh, 
aluminum flashing or some kind of metal or something <clears throat> so that the plaster can can t flow get some depth to it and uh, pull the elements of, of the cast together of the track together without doing that they would have got the toes very clearly and the heel very clearly but but there would have been nothing in the middle there's almost no impression here across the middle so just just an excellent job of, of documentation here <clears throat> So, moving on. Oh, sorry, yes. Oh, gee. Another, a very nice track. The, the fifth track in the series. Very similar to that cast we just looked at. This also was cast, but the cast is, is lost. It, it may have been broken. It seems to be missing. Attempts are being made to relocate it. I know it existed at one time in the, in the hunter's collection in his shed, but it's, it doesn't seem to be available anymore. But nevertheless, good photographs uh, and with some measurements. And uh, a, a shallower track on, on the firmer soil. <clears throat> this was the second track actually in the, in the sequence. There it is there. And they actually cast that. A, a very commendable effort because this was not an easy track to cast. This was sort of borderline castable, very, very shallow, but they've got, you know, all five toes registered. Again, the heel quite well defined, not much in the middle. Again, they, you know, put something around the outside. It's very thin cast. I mean, it, to their credit that they were able to cast this and get it home, preserve it all these years. So uh, that's a uh, Sorry, that's a pretty nice cast, actually. <clears throat> okay, now... Yeah, now I want to back up <clears throat> and just kind of put this in a, in a larger perspective. Uh, this is from British Columbia, the province here, the westernmost province of Canada. It's from Vancouver Island, which is a, this huge island we live on here, almost 300 miles long, almost 80 miles wide, off the, the south coast of British Columbia, just north of Washington State. <clears throat> and the location is on the east coast of the island. <clears throat> And uh, it's it, not too far from a town called Sayward, maybe maybe halfway up the east coast of Vancouver Island. And uh, what we have here, uh, in addition to that map, we we have a view from from near where the tracks were cast to the to the mainland beyond. So, so you get a sense that this is this is very mountainous, heavily forested, pretty pretty remote country. Uh, Sometimes it's nice to see the, the location where, where tracks are cast because it gives you a, a sense of the econo uh, economic, of the ecological uh, viability uh, of Sasquatches living in this area. You know, obviously, well, not obviously, but there are clam beaches here uh, down, down on, the, on the shore. There are definitely salmon rivers and salmon streams. There are deer in these mountains round about. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go that far for now. So I'm going to close there for now. Thank you.